What's up guys? So to be honest with you, we don't really have a plan for this video. We've just come out into the city today and we're gonna do a bit of exploring, see what it's like during lockdown. Where are we right yeah, now? Yeah, we are in Tat Luang Park, very famous park, uh, obviously for its monument. This park is changing up a lot. Uh, there's few renovations happening, you know, so we thought we'll take you guys with us so you can see it for yourself as well. Yeah, we were literally here like two months ago yeah. and it did not look like this. There's like new plants, like there's fountains being built. We'll actually show you now. So what's really cool is that there's a lot of sunflowers. There's loads of sunflowers just growing here. All around here some papaya, you know, just sunflowers and papaya in a city park, which is pretty cool. You know, you don't see that in the Western worlds. Um, Tat Long Park is also building up some sort of like a fountain, artificial fountain. In fact, I actually used to do this myself as a, as a job, like about a decade ago back in Spain, building like fake water fountains and stuff like, like uh, fake rocks. So this is it. So they're building this up right now. As you can see, it's like one big pond in here. And it's surrounded by these like quite nice looking rocks. Some of them are like artificial or most of them are. And there's probably gonna be fish in here, I'm assuming. But now looking at it, I'm not sure if it's getting destroyed or built because as you can see here, it's all like sort of ripped apart. And this, these metal things, they're ripped apart, but this is fresh. It's a fresh cement in here. So I'm guessing it's just like renovation or something like that. But yeah, that long is improving. By the way, she's got a brand new board. Do you wanna show your brand new board? She's a bit shy, but come on. I think it's pretty cool. Wait, I actually got this like a month ago, but because we started going to the gym, we kind of forgot to skate. I've got some funny looking mushrooms. And nice. A serial killer on the other side. Wow, magic mushrooms and a serial killer. A lot of like your personality. <laughs> over there and we've just seen over there there's people playing a sport and we think it's the rattan sport which is like a southeast asian sport yeah you see like people it's like volleyball but you use instead of arms you use legs and yeah. it literally looks like ninja you have no idea guys like there's people doing backflips and stuff so we're just gonna get a bit closer to see what's happening yeah. let's go have a look There's two different courts, there's two games happening here. I'm not sure if this is here every night because I haven't seen it before. That's what they do, they do these crazy jumps where they kick it really high. Whoa. That's like ninja. I've got literally no words watching these guys. I mean, look at that. This one guy was doing this sort of backflip kick. It looks like an absolute ninja. I mean, so far, uh, the whole park looks pretty busy. There's quite a few people around here, right? Yeah, we thought it wouldn't be very busy here in Tatluang because of the lockdown, but everybody's still coming out to exercise, which is good. People need to get out. We're not even sure if like exercising is even legal. Is it legal to exercise on I your mean, own? You can't stop people from exercising like, yeah obviously seriously. obviously you yes. can stop people from doing a lot of things but we've seen people like exercising but i have also seen somewhere that said you're not supposed to come out and exercise yeah. unless it's some sort of like an emergency like food supplies and stuff like that but i really don't see how that <laughs> no it's it's dumb it's, it's dumb like you know that's really bad for your immune system if you're trying to like you know prevent covid weakening your immune system is not gonna help doing that yeah, I mean, and also there's so many big open spaces here around Laos, like Tat Luang is so huge. Yeah. You're not going to be going in close proximity to other people exercising, so... Yeah, I mean, right now we're in literally the main area of Stupa, yeah, and uh, there's not many people here at all. No. There's like a couple kids in there with families, Some but... People taking pictures. But not many, not many like it used to be, right? No, like when we came here for the festival, that's Tat Luang busy. We've actually never been inside this before. Apparently it has like parts of the Buddha, like the teeth, right? Really? I didn't I know about so. that. so. We've never been in and we, we need to go in, but I'm pretty sure it's closed. 
right now because of lockdown. Yeah, not, not surprised. I would like to go in though, it looks very majestic. Especially at sunset, this all reflects on this, it looks really nice. Ah, si, si. Si, si. 40. 40. 40,000. Family, 40. So they're releasing these birds. For good luck. For good luck. We always question like, how did you get them in the first place? Isn't it bad luck to put them in the tree? I don't know, but the city with Buddhism. Okay. Cup chai. Yeah. So we can't help but wonder why people put these little birds, snakes and fish in like cages and then release them for the good luck. That's one thing we didn't understand because like for us, logically that doesn't make any sense. Now, unless it's like a very ancient tradition. I think it's just an ancient tradition to get merit, but I always thought like if you're putting them, if you're capturing them from their natural habitat and then putting them in a cage, I feel like that defeats the point. Yeah. Maybe they raise them in cages or, or something oh, like yeah. that. We have no clue. The reason we're asking this guys for you, maybe you know something about it. If you do so, leave us a comment below. We'd appreciate that. Yeah, and we also wanted to know, do younger people still do that tradition or is it just like an older generation kind of thing? So we want to know if you guys do that or if you agree or disagree with it, please let us know because we're really curious about that one. We have no clue. Okay, put on my mask because I'm about to buy an ice cream. <laughs> right here. Can you get me one with a cone, please? Uh, song? Uh, cone? I don't know what cone, cone. is in. Song cone? Uh, Pasalao? Cone. Cone. Okay. Cone. Okay. Cone. You got it. I think it's taro. Yeah. A little drizzle of chocolate in there. Chocolate. Mmm. Taro and I'm guessing milk. Mmm. I eat this with a mask on there. Okay. So the coconut with the chocolate, it literally tastes like bounty. You know the bounty chocolate bars? I used to love those. I used to hate those. <laughs> well, enjoy the ice cream. Mm. We always try and buy off like every single stall we see because locals are mm. locals are struggling right now with all this lockdown and stuff. So we always try and buy a little something from every single stall. This dog is killing my vlog right now. What's he so mad at? We're heading to the other side of the park now and it's actually got quite a bit busier here so as you can see well it doesn't look that busy right now but there's people all over here playing some sports i think football and usually they have like zumba like dancing classes here like three different stages in the evening but they don't seem to be happening maybe because of lockdown but people are still exercising here people still running and people ooh, skateboarding skateboarding yeah, very good. Hey, good job. <laughs> it's right by this huge building. It kinda looks fake this building. Do you know what it's for? I have no idea, but it looks very like it looks very Chinese if you ask me. Kinda looks too perfect. It like looks fake almost. This has been built recently actually, I think. Okay. Got everywhere. So this is like the other side of the park? Still the same park though. In here like usually people do like all the Zumba dance practice like they have like three stages, three different sound system and three different musics playing at the same time. It's like horrible clash. It's kind of nice for a change that it's not too busy right now so it's a, you know it's nice and quiet like a park's supposed to be. So now we're on the other side of the park. It's kind of nice as well like loads of trees in here. A few more people here than the other spot although I prefer the other spot than this one. What about you? It's kind of a bit darker in here, right? This one's right by the main road there, so it's a bit noisier. There's people playing badminton there, exercising there, skateboarding there. And this guy has a cool like uh, badminton thing where you can play by yourself on a string. Mm. So it bounces back to you. Okay. In case you're feeling lonely and you want to play badminton with someone else. Yeah. <laughs> or you're just sick of people in general. It's really nice to see everybody out and about with their families and friends, just doing whatever. Guess lockdown isn't so bad here. We can still go outside here in Laos because it is warm. Thank God. If it was a cold country, I'm pretty sure it would not be like this. So this used to be a skate spot where there's a lot of people used to come and skate. But now there's many other spots. Not a skate park. There's many other spots to skate. But here, because the ground is really rough, so we're just gonna bail as well. 
So that's the thing I meant earlier where you can like play with yourself where you like stick it onto the ground and then you don't have to play with anyone else which is pretty cool because who wants to play with other people all the time? I'm holding my board really weird right now It's kind of awkward to vlog and carry a board I've lost Mario but this is where we are right now We've been here before It was like over a year ago since we've been here Look how bad the clouds look in the distance We just heard thunder so I'm pretty sure it's gonna rain really soon. So I don't think we're gonna be staying here much longer, but Mario really wanted to skate on these tiles at the front. And that's actually where all these kids come to skate because the floor is just so good. You good? So good, the ground is like perfect. Woo! Wow, the sky looks so beautiful here right now. Look at that. Yeah, when we first came to Laos, like a year, a year and a half, two years, oh my gosh, I don't even know anymore. Um, there was literally nobody skating here. Like there was just a small skate community that we've actually only just met really recently. There was never any kids skating around, nothing like that. And then in the past, literally the past two months, I feel like nearly every single kid in the city has got a skateboard because everyone is just skateboarding. It's insane. I don't know what the reason for that is. Maybe just caught on here as a trend, but there's so many of them. Ooh. And they all learn so fast as well. They learn so fast. Kids can learn way faster than we can. Ooh. Yeah! Woo! This kid here is probably like three years old, right? Yeah. Smashing it. Yeah. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. <laughs> Look at this butterfly, guys. It's huge. Wow. So beautiful. I wish I could capture it more. So this spot right here is probably like for the very beginners. I really love this spot because I'm the very beginner myself. Um, it's really good because there's obviously really, really cool ground. Yeah, it's all just tiles and stuff. So really good for like practicing if you're a beginner. If you're ever coming to Laos and looking for a good spot to start skateboarding or whatever else you're doing on the little wheels, just can come here right by Tat Luang. Oh, there's a big stupa here. Good thing I'm a really fast driver, so I just drove back home, got a spare t-shirt. Just joking, just brought one, because it's really hot, as you can see from my forehead. As you can see, there's still loads of people practicing volleyball and stuff. All kinds of sports happening here, yeah. like everywhere. So, lockdown, but not lockdown, so... I mean, fair play, you know, it is Sunday, and, you know, exercising is one of the key things, you know, to get rid yeah. of any kind of viruses, to strengthen our immune system, so it's good to see people, like, doing some exercise. If anything, I think this is quiet for a Sunday at Pat Long, to yeah. be honest, but yeah. it's good to see people out and about and making the most of the lockdown, because there's not much else you can do right now. Exactly, you know, uh, and even ourselves, like, you know, we can't really travel anywhere right now, can't film, like, any cool, like, hikes, or anything like that unless you want to see same hike over and over again probably not you know so we're kind of waiting it uh, i think it's finished by like the 17th of september or something like that this lockdown oh yeah the lockdown has an end date now which is like the 15th or 17th but yeah it's probably gonna get extended yeah no one knows for sure yeah. Yeah. but anyways guys we really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did so hit that like button because it really helps us out it helps us with the algorithm and so on and on and on and on and on and on if you want to see more of our content don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time